guys, so welcome to Never Grow Up blog with Finding Neverland, the new Broadway musical. Um, we've been uh, given a few questions uh, to answer and so I shall be spending a lot of the blog today answering your questions. Um, but I shall also answer this one. Ashley Jake asks, what is your favourite song to sing in the show and what's your favourite song that you don't sing? Stronger, obviously, is my favourite song that I don't sing. It's very inspirational and mind-blowing. I wouldn't mind being Hook one day. The show second act just started, so you might hear that over these. Uh, this is our two show day today. It was kind of wild. Mike Legier asks, what's your favorite moment so far in the journey? It was quite a big deal when I walked down the Broadway and I saw my name on the side of the theater. That was a really big deal. Janine asks, what do you guys usually do between shows on a two show day? Oh, Nails. I got my heels fixed on my shoes. I went to the bank <laughs> and I got sushi. Not very glamorous. Sushi's probably a little bit glamorous for some. Nora asks, have you seen the movie version of Finding Neverland? And what is your favorite part about this character? I have a long time ago, but as an actress, you don't want to copy anybody else's performance. And I love Kate Winslet, so I choose not to watch it until I finish here so that I am myself in the character. Kat D asks, will you ever come back to the UK? Maybe, it depends if it's sunny or not. Yeah, I love the UK, I miss my friends there, but I'm very much a, a happy person in America. My parents live here and my brother lives here and um, I do need to come back to visit my new baby niece. Hannah Sh Schultzter asks, which role was harder, playing Mary Poppins or Sylvia Llewellyn Davies? Mary Poppins mostly because of the physical exertion. As you can see, I'm not on at the beginning of that too, so that's quite nice. Matt and Kelsey are very family, the leading men and I get some time off, which is really nice. CJ the piano guy asks, do you have any favorite vocal warm-ups? I do a lot of this. All day. <laughs> I could uh, teach you if you want to get a private coaching session. Alison Nisbet, what's your favorite moment in the show? Definitely when we're all on stage. When we're all on stage in the nursery at the end of the show. Everybody's there. I like that. No one's left out. Anyway, thank you so much for asking these questions. Um, I'm really excited to be a part of this show, as you know. Uh, it's incredibly enchanting and silly and uh, life-giving. So um, I'm just grateful to be part of it. Emma Huzak asks, what, what about the show makes me want to do it? Well, who wouldn't want to be in a Broadway show? <laughs> I love Finding Neverland. It's enchanting. It's about um, a family overcoming amazing things. It's about adventures and imagination. And, it, and I love that it's as much about, um, you know, the human spirit and fighting for life and um, having so much fun. So, of course, anybody would want to do that. This, by the way, is how you do your pin curls underneath a wig. Karen Shirley asks, do you like working with kids? I love working with kids, because I don't have any of my own. I get to pretend I'm a mother, which is awesome. This is another thing you put over the uh, pin curls to make sure your hair can breathe, but um, it also makes sure the wig doesn't come off. Michaela Mercado asks, does the wind and silver confetti get in your face when you get whisked <laughs> away at the end of the show? Yes, the wind and the silver confetti totally gets stuck in my mouth and in my down my underwear. I'm not really sure how it gets down there. But all along the floor is uh, Milo. I'm not sure if you can see that. But it is all over the place. <laughs> so that stuff gets everywhere. Jamie asks, what's your favorite musical number to perform? My favorite musical number, obviously, my favorite song is mine in the show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I only have one big one. It's called All That Matters. Because so I think about all the people that came with a heavy load and I hope that they will leave with a lighter one. This is a microphone. This is a, what Julie Andrews might call a lavalier. Once upon a time, she said, told me about her time in My Fair Lady playing Eliza and how she didn't have, well, it, she said, well, of course, in those days, darling, we didn't have lavaliers. And I didn't realize that she was talking about this. She didn't have microphones in the olden days. They had to reach the gods without them. Anyway, I digress. Compare your emotions on flying over the audience as Mary and the final scene as Sylvia. 
Oh, the, well, leaving the family knowing I could come back is very different from leaving a family. They're both going to special places, I believe, but it's definitely a much more emotional journey to say goodbye, but also to say hello to the next, um, to Netherland. I'm not going to give away too much. But that question was from... Oh, sorry. That question was from Lucy Aquaro. From Lucy Aquaro. I like that question. Thank mm -hmm. you. What is so special in this show that makes people want to see it again and again? I think any time there's a show that's uplifting and inspiring, there's always new things to catch that you missed before in the lyrics or in the performance. And each performance is new every day. And it will just keep getting better and better. Like, is that it? That's all the questions. <laughs> God bless you guys. Oh look, this now I have a wig. Any Peter Pan jokes? <laughs> no! It's okay, say a joke and then just Peter say, Pan. say a, a joke but just put Peter Pan in it at some level. What? <laughs> Do you know any jokes at all? I don't know. I know a joke, I know a joke. Okay, you tell me a joke. So Peter Pan goes to the hot dog vendor and he says, <laughs> Make me one with everything. <laughs> Doesn't work, it's supposed to be a Buddhist. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> to the hot dog vendor. <laughs> hot dog vendor who's dressed as Peter Pan. <laughs> the Buddha says, maybe... <laughs> what do you call cheese that isn't yours? What? Nacho cheese. How do you make... Ah! How do you make a tissue dance? How? Put a boogie in it. Oh! Why did they not go in the graveyard? They were dying to get in. Oh! It's my laces, everyone. It's laces. We gotta go. It's Saturday night. Children. Say hi guys. Hi. Now, you guys in the show, we have to do, there's a line about my kids like me to do funny voices. Yeah. So you guys got to tell me a funny story you've come up with while you've been doing this show. So, in Despicable Me 2, okay. in Despicable Me 2, there is the guy named Guru and he talks like this. He talks to the 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 real the the and the jail and company. So we made up a party of finding Neverland. Hello. Hello everybody, I would like to inform you that today you will not be seeing a performance of Finding, Finding Neverland, you will be seeing a performance of Finding, Finding the Jam and the Jellies. And now here to sing, the, the world jam. is made of jam, save the minion. Thank you. Go on, sing the world is made of jam. If the world was made of jam. I think you've got to go now because it's the second act of second show Actually, of the Saturday. Finding the jam and the deal. Okay, we've missed a couple of questions, so I want to add some extras in. Oh, here we go. What are some of your pre-show rituals, and how do you get into character before every show? Pre-show. Joe Duda. Joe Duda, my pre-show ritual. I get in really nice and early. Like now, we've got a seven seven thirty show today, so um, I'm ready by seven. Almost. I make sure I have a cup of tea at all times. And I just had a coffee, so I'm a little bit wired today. <laughs> I went to my favorite Bluestone Lane. <gasps> Love that place. I'm a coffee fiend. So now we are putting our belt on. This is my preset prop. We're getting done. How do you get involved with both Mary Poppins and Finding Neverland? Well, I auditioned for Elias and My Fair Lady in London. And then. Uh, Cameron McIntosh and Richard Eyre and Disney came and saw me playing Eliza and that I think was my audition for Mary Poppins um, 
I did have to do a work through of it, but I was in Fiddle on the Roof at the time in New York and they offered me the job on the phone. Next, the getting involved with Finding Neverland. I had it, I was, <laughs> I'd been unemployed for a little while and it was kind of scary and I got an email in my inbox saying, um, would you like to do the workshop of Finding Neverland in New York? And that was a very welcome email indeed. And I think the workshop was kind of my audition. Because as most people know, I hate auditions, just like everybody else. And I, I work better in a, a creative environment where that isn't, um, you know, the fear that you're not going to get the job. All right, I see you after. I'm going to try and find some more co-stars for you guys to see. And uh, all the best. I stole the camera. And we're going to go find Matthew. Okay? Say goodbye, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Matthew. I want snuggles. You want some snuggles? I want some snuggles. Want some snuggles? Yeah. All right. Let's Give me some, some snuggles. snuggles. Here let's we go. see. This is this is our pre-show ritual. It's a snuggle cam. It's a snuggle cam. Here's a snuggle cam. It's a snuggle what cam. What do you do with a snuggle cam? You snuggle, snuggle. and you give nose kisses. Nose kisses. <laughs> Here he goes, the and nose kisses. And you talk about dreams. Dreams and drinking. That was a lot of fun. Thank that was you. a lot of fun. I'm uh, glad we had this snuggle fest. I was, our daily ritual, of course. Our daily yes, ritual. we always do this. I was hoping that you weren't going to be here so I could try on your clothes. But oh. But maybe next time. Maybe next time. Okay. <laughs> so, let's go try on Carolee's clothes. We're in Carolee's dressing room. How do you turn on the lights? I don't know how. Oh, thank you for turning on the lights for me. I'm sitting on Carolee's couch. Now I'm... Sitting on Carolee's chair. Now I'm putting on Carolee's jewelry. This is what we do in Neverland. We touch Carolee's things. This is what it'd be like if I was looking at myself in the mirror getting ready for the show. If I was Carolee, be like, You don't know this man. You don't even try. Just like Kara Lee did. All right. Well, it was fun stealing the camera. Thank you so much for watching Finding Neverland vlog. I am excited to share more of our fun times and silliness with you. Um, keep, keep coming with the questions to my um, Twitter, Laura M. Kelly. Or my Instagram, uh, at Laura Michelle Kelly. Follow me. I might follow you back. Who knows? Anyway, mwah. Mwah.